Hey guys, so today I'm going to be testing the new i5 12600K. I'm going to be putting it in a, in a mini ITX case. I'm going to be air cooling it. I want to see how the thermals are. I want to see if, you know, an air cooler with a mini ITX case can properly cool it. I did want to liquid cool it, but NZXT does not have the brackets in stock for their Kraken. So I do have to wait to get that bracket. I was able to get the Natua cooler for the LGA 1700 um, socket type. So let's see how it goes. Let's see if it can handle it. Right, Klaus? Yeah. Should be sicko mode. Alrighty then. Let's go ahead and start building her. Ah. The ball set? Where did the screw go? Hmm. Did it fall? Nope, I hear it. What the butt sack? There you go. I don't know how it got stuck in there, but it did. But it's fine. Oh my gosh, what the flip? Got to close the closet. All right, so going with a 3060 Ti. So it's gonna be a mid-level, mid-range build. I mean, the, the processor outperforms my i7 10700K that I have in that build. So, I mean, I would still say it's a pretty high-end build. It's just the, the graphics card isn't gonna be one of the better ones or one of the best ones, but it's a 3060 Ti, so. I don't think anybody would complain if they had a 3060 Ti. Unless you're gaming in 4K, but I don't know why you would be doing that. Oh my gosh, dude. This thing doesn't fit. This thing is too big. Oh no, it fit. I made it fit. Barely. That's what she said. <laughs> okay, so that HD audio cable is getting in the way. Yeah, no, I can totally hear pins or something being bent. What the butt side? Why would they design it this way? <sighs> and it doesn't help that this card barely fits in this case. I don't even know if I can take it out. It's just such a weird design in my opinion. Just why would you have a, a cable coming out for your front panel audio, for your HD audio? It's like, why can't you do it how I, that other mini ITX motherboard is just have the pins right on the board. I don't see why it would impede the GPU, but I don't know. Maybe we, one of you guys can comment and let me know why they decided to go with the cable instead of the pins right on the board. Klaus, can you help me? So please behave while you're in here. Ew. All right, so this is Klaus. He will be my helper today. All right, so Klaus is gonna be helping me build this computer. Um, he's built hundreds of uh, computers in his career, in his little uh, three and a half month career of life. Okay, so the 3060 Ti, the Aorus one does not fit. It just, it just doesn't fit. It's like too thick. So I'm gonna use an EVGA. Really? This one should fit. It's a 30, it's a 3060 Ti as well. Klaus, are you gonna help or are you just gonna watch? For the sake of time, there's gonna be no cable management. No one's gonna see that anyway. All righty. Yeah, so. Now that it's built, we're gonna do some benchmarks. We're gonna do some stress tests. I'm gonna check the temperatures. I just wanna see if the air cooler is capable of properly cooling the, the processor um, inside of a mini ITX build. So let's see if she boots. Well, it boots, it boots. So 
um, just installing Windows. So, stand by. What do you think is gonna happen? Do you think it's gonna be able to cool it properly? I think it, it probably will. It is idling at about 31 degrees Celsius, which is actually pretty good. Um, but I'm gonna run some stress tests. I wanna just see if I can generate heat. I wanna see if it, I wanna see if the cooler's, you know, good enough to cool these new processors. So we are at 30 minutes. Ooh. Max temperature was 92. Ow, you mutt flipper. Why are you biting me? Sorry, I had to stop what I was doing the other day when I was testing everything because we had a little accident. And I don't have a video of it, but I have a picture of what happened. So candle wax fell all over my fiance's Mac. So she screamed for help and I had to go help her. And luckily we were able to save the Mac, but uh, I had to stop what I was doing that day. So yeah, so yeah. All right, so I'm gonna just tell you the temps that I, that I hit whenever I was gaming or running Cinebench or running just benchmarks. So. I wanted to see what the temperatures were like when I put full load on the GPU and the CPU. So I had the 3060 Ti in there with the i5 12600K. So I was running Furmark, which is just a stress test for 30 minutes. I hit 92 degrees Celsius in that little case. When I ran Cinebench, I hit 87 degrees Celsius. When I ran Firestrike, um, a 3D mark, uh, benchmark test 67 degrees celsius cyber and then i was playing cyberpunk for like 30 minutes and i only hit about 64 degrees so the temperatures are pretty good while gaming um it just seems like whenever you're stress testing it that's when you start to see the temperatures spike 92 degrees is pretty high i don't approve of that cooler if it's gonna hit 92 degrees i ran that same test on a build that i have i have an i7 10700k and I ran Furmark for 30 minutes as well, but it's liquid cooled. It has a Corsair tr triple fan radiator liquid cooler. I forget which model it is, but it only had 76 degrees Celsius. I ran Cinebench again with a 3070. I wanted to see if I'd get higher temps, and I did hit 92 degrees versus 87 degrees with the 3060 Ti. All right, so my verdict, Klaus, you're making noise. My verdict would be, if you're gonna be gaming in a small form factor case and you're only using an air cooler, you probably probably be fine. Maybe after like five or six hours of intense gaming, you may start to see things heat up. When you're gaming, I mean, a lot of times it's the GPU doing most of the workload. Why are you biting that? All right. All right. Um, the verdict is you're gonna need a liquid cool the i5 12600K in a mini ITX case. I mean, the air cooler isn't the best air cooler on the market, but at least this air cooler, it's a Natsua NH-U9S, that cooler is probably not gonna cut it if you're gonna do any kind of video editing um, or any kind of rendering uh, according to the stress test. If you're gaming, you'll probably be fine, but I would recommend at least water cooling it or going with a bigger case if you if you have to air cool it. But that's my verdict. So I'm gonna test it in an even smaller case now, but I'm gonna liquid cool it. So I wanna see how it does. So I got one of these bad boys. I'm gonna make another video about it. So just be on the lookout. I'm gonna test the i5 12600K in one of these bad boys. All right, Klaus, we're done. Why? Is my notebook all wet?